Hey guys, Darren here with Renaissance Coders and today we're going to be talking about and implementing a little bit of our top-down camera controller that I talked about in the intro to this series. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to be making first. So I'm going to go ahead and select our top-down camera. So this is our top-down camera and as you can see, just a brief introduction, we are going to be following the target's position and we'll be able to orbit around our target we'll have that option we'll also have the option to zoom okay so there's three main things that we need to, to consider here our camera is looking at our target at all times our camera can can orbit around our target and our camera can zoom in and out on our target okay so keep those three things in mind whenever we start implementing the settings uh, that I'm about to start talking about in this tutorial Alright, so let's go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to delete my top-down camera uh, script and we're going to create a new one. Alright, so let me go ahead and create a new C-sharp script. I'm going to call it top-down camera. And I'm going to go ahead and open that script up. Okay, so here we are in our fresh script. Now remember, we have to have the ability to look at our target, our, the ability to orbit around our target, and the ability to zoom. So those are going to be the three main functions of this camera. Uh, we, we need to have the ability to maintain our distance, the correct distance from our target. So, okay, so we have the distance from our target, we have uh, the ability to zoom, and we also want to have the ability to smooth follow. And what I mean by that is we are, we're going to have a value that we can manipulate to determine how fast we want our camera to reach its destination position. So we can have a system where it's sort of locked onto our target, or we can have something where it's slowly catching up to our target as he or she moves. All right, so I would define these types of settings as positioning settings. So I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to call it position settings. And we're going to be filling this class in the next tutorial. Right now I just really want to get the skeleton of this script uh, laid out for you guys. Alright now remember we also want the ability to orbit around our character so I'm going to define a new class for that so I'm going to have some settings that handle or that hold the current X and Y rotation of the camera and they also handle um, a boolean for whether or not we want our camera to be able to orbit and then we handle we, we have a value that holds a smooth float that determines how fast we want to orbit around our character. So I'm going to call this class Orbit Settings. Alright, I want to define one more class. So I do this with a lot of my scripts where I have the ability to give the user control over the input settings. So I'm going to create a new class called Input Settings. And all this is, is it's going to be a series of strings that the user can manipulate to determine at runtime which buttons they want to press to enable certain functionality um, in this instance for the camera's controls. Okay, so I'm going to have that input settings class. Alright, so that's going to cover the classes that, are, that I want for the settings for this top-down camera. Let's talk about some private members that we're going to need to get the camera to do what we want it to do um, for the script. Okay, so we're going to have a vector 3 for our destination. And we're going to initialize this to vector3.0. Now our destination is going to be where our target is trying to uh, get to. So it's going to be handling the distance from the ground, or the distance from the target, sorry. And it's also going to uh, be determining, you know, how it's going to be oriented around the target. So is it going to be uh, rotated around a certain point? Um, you know, all, all that stuff is going to be handled with our destination. So it's just where the camera is trying to get to. Alright, we're going to have a vector 3 for cam velocity. So this is going to be the camera's velocity. I'm going to initialize this to vector 3.0. Our camera velocity is going to be how fast we want our camera to reach its destination. So we're going to be passing cam velocity into our smooth damp function. We're going to have two more vector 3s for our... So we're going to have a current mouse position and we're also going to need a previous mouse position. Now the reason we need these is because if we're choosing our orbiting function, so if we if we enable the orbiting functionality and um, 
in in my in, in my case, I wanted to use the mouse for orbiting. So this is these are the two vectors you'll need if you want to use mouse orbiting. Um, we need the current and the previous, so we know how far our mouse has moved since the last frame. And then using that information, we can determine how fast we want to orbit around our target. All right, and finally, we're going to have some floats that hold our input values. So we're going to have a mouse orbit input. And then we're going to have a zoom input. OK, so as you can tell, uh, the controls that I'm going to be using, the control scheme for this controller is going to be uh, expecting a mouse and a scroll wheel. Uh, but since, since I have this input settings class, you will be able to determine what it is that's or that controls the orbiting and what it is that controls the zooming. So for me, it's going to be my mouse and my scroll wheel. All right, now since we have our settings laid out and our classes laid out, I want to go ahead and sort of write out the skeleton of our functions. So here are some functions that we're going to be needing for this class, for the script. We're going to be using our start event function, and we're going to be using our update event function, our fixed update event function. So this is just something I like to do when I'm... Um, going about writing a new script, I want to make sure I have all my functions laid out so I can sort of see the way um, I, I can look at it sort of if you can think about it from a bird's eye view where you don't have a lot of clutter with the code and you can just tell by looking at the skeleton what the camera is expected to do. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, continue writing out some of the functions that I need for this script. I want the camera, I always do, with, I always do this with my cameras, I want the camera to be able to um, set itself a new target. So that's one thing I actually forgot to include up here. For our cameras we're going to want to have a public transform target. Target's going to be the thing that we're looking at. Okay. So I want to be able to at runtime set a new target if that's something that my game is going to do. So I'm going to create a public uh, a public void set camera target method. And again, all this is doing is if I want to, at some point in my game, set my camera to look at something else, I can do that using this function. All right. Now we're going to also have a few more functions for this script. We're going to have a get input, fu get input function, which is just going to be setting these values right here for my mouse orbit input and my zoom input. I'm going to be using that inside my update event function. So void get input. Again, this is going inside my update event function. Okay, so we have void, get input, we have update, we have fixed update, and then down below here I want to add a function for moving to target. So move to target. This is going to be what moves our camera to its destination position. So it's just going to be handling how to get our camera to move to where we want it to move to. Alright, remember we're always going to be wanting our camera. One of the requirements for this camera was that it always needs to look at its target. So we're going to have a void look at target method. Alright, we have a couple more functions that we need to define. Remember we're going to be able to have the option to orbit around our character, so we're going to have a void mouse orbit target. Since I'm using the mouse for mine, I'm going to be passing, I'm going to be calling this mouse orbit target. And then our last method finally is going to be called zoom in on target. So our zoom in on target is going to be handling uh, just what it says it does. It's going to be zooming in and out on our target if we want that function to be enabled for this uh, camera. So just as a brief overview, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to write some comments for what I want to go into each of these classes and each of these functions. So our position settings is going to be handling, if you remember me talking about briefly before, it's going to be handling our distance from our target. So we're going to be having this um, not so constant distance depending on if we want to zoom or not distance from our target so that we know how far in the sky our camera needs to be. We're going to have some bools for um, zooming and smooth following so if we want to be able to smooth follow otherwise we're just going to be setting our camera to our destination without any sort of smooth damp function. We're going to have our min and max zoom settings and here as well. So that's pretty much all that's going to be in our position settings. Our orbit settings is going to be 
holding our current X and Y rotation for our camera. It's going to have a bool for um, uh, allowing orbit, I'll say. So this is going to be a, a checkbox that we could check if we want the user to be able to orbit around our character. Otherwise, uh, that functionality is going to be disabled. Okay, so that's pretty much all that's going in our orbit settings. And our input settings is, well, it, it, that's pretty much self-explanatory, so I'll leave that blank. Our start event function is going to be setting our camera target. So setting camera target, and we're going to be using this function here. Our set camera target, remember, is if we want to set a new target at runtime, get input. So in, in, in get input, we're going to be filling the values for our input variables. In update, we are going to be uh, getting input and zooming. So we'll be zooming inside update as well. In fixed update, basically this is where everything else goes. So move to target, look at target. We're also going to be using this function to call orbit. Okay, so that's going to be what goes into our fixed update function. Our move to target is going to be handling getting our camera to its destination position. Look at target's going to be handling getting our camera to look at the target at all times. Mouse orbit is going to be getting the camera to orbit around our character. And zoom in on target that one's pretty self-explanatory as well, uh, but I'll go ahead and add some comments. So it's going to be smoothing our zoom. Actually, I'll go ahead and define exactly what this is going to do. It's going to be modifying the the uh, distance from target. So inside our position settings, we're going to have a distance from target um, variable that we're going to be modifying. So we're going to modify the distance from target to be closer or further away from our target. So that's what our zoom in on targets function is going to be doing. Alright, so we've actually laid out this entire script. We have a really nice skeleton going on right here. Now in the next tutorial we're going to be filling the functionality. We're going to be filling in these settings here and then determining how we're going to be using those settings to get the results that we want with this top-down camera controller. Alright guys, but that's actually going to wrap things up with this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Drop a like if you did. But as always, thanks for watching. This has been a Renaissance Coders tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.